Okay, guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all well. I hope you're having a fabulous week. Today, I thought we would just sit down and get ready together and have a bit of like a life update, a catch up, and share with you guys my current makeup routine. So, if you are new to the channel, then welcome. My name is Jodie and on this channel we cover fashion i'm a fashion student and um, we cover fashion we cover lifestyle we cover fitness just like real relatable girl content i'm just gonna get right into it no messing around off we go so i'm just prepping my face with some moisturizer it's just the nivea one so cheap and it's the best and then i'm just gonna use this Olay hendrickson brightening gel cream under my eyes so if you are new here then welcome it's so nice to meet you i would love it if you subscribed to my channel and joined me on my little youtube journey and if you are not new here then thank you for returning so i haven't done like a get ready with me i can't even remember like it's probably months and my makeup routine has changed so much and whenever i ask you guys what you want to see it's always get ready with me's um vlog so you guys just love to see get ready for me so i thought i would answer your demand i'm also just putting some vaseline on my lips so how have you all been it is currently i haven't got my watch on it's the 19th of january 2022 and i feel like everyone's getting into the swing of things with like the new year i asked you guys over on instagram what you wanted to know any questions any assumptions um, so I'll check those in a minute, but I'm just going to start my face. So I'm using the Hollywood Flawless Filter in shade Medium 4. I got this for Christmas. I know it's not a foundation, but I do use it as a foundation most days if I don't want something too, um, too heavy. And honestly, I'm so glad I asked for it for Christmas. I love it okay the first one I can see is how do you stay positive um by the way I'm just going to take this Morphe 102 brush just like a big foundation brush how do I stay so positive um I don't want to get the mirroring because I feel like it always looks really ugly honestly <laughs> I don't know um, I am a very positive person. Like if you watch my videos or if you know me um, and if you spoke to me, I am a very positive person. I don't I don't know how. Like I've just sort of taught myself over the years that everything happens for a reason. Things don't always make sense at the time, but when you look back, like they do. But everything happens how it's supposed to. You just have to trust the universe and trust life that like it will all work itself out. I know that's so hard to put such like trust into the universe, but I genuinely think that's why because I just don't let anything like really. Oh my god, I thought I just saw a grey hair. No, I am expecting to find grey hairs in the next few years because my mom and my grandma were both grey in their twenties, so that's fun. I'm gonna sit a bit more forward so you can actually see me. Um, yeah, so I literally say, how do I say so positive? I just look for a silver lining in everything and even if one isn't obvious or doesn't even make sense, I will just cling to the silver lining. Don't get me wrong, like I have bad days. Of course, everyone does, but I'm just taking this beauty blender to just press it in. I just have a lot of trust in the universe. I think that's what it is. My dad always taught me to be very, positive and look for silver linings in literally everything so maybe it's a bit of that just being taught from like a young age i guess but i just think like nothing nothing happens to you without whoa, nothing happens to you without like reasoning and nothing is handed to you like god doesn't hand you anything and the universe doesn't hand you anything unless you can handle it so literally just that be grateful for what you have like everyone can moan about what they don't have but you just need to focus on what you do have and the positives in life and just be like practice gratitude 
that is what I would say. So I'm just going to conceal. So literally, by the way, I just put the flawless foundation on. Flawless filter even. If I was like going out, like on a night out, then I probably would put um, a foundation over the top. This is my favourite. Dream Urban Cover by Maybelline. But flawless filter on its own for me is plenty for like just like a day-to-day -day look. So for concealer, I use the NARS Creamy in Custard. And I also use makeup obsession in mega conceal this is the long wear concealer with caffeine um, and this is in shade 03 i just got this on a whim in boots um, it's not the best for under the eyes which is why i put the nars under the eyes and i just sort of dab this underneath to brighten it up it does crease a bit under the eyes but it doesn't crease anywhere else um i don't like to set with powder so that's probably why Okay, so the second question is, what are your main goals for 2020? Blend out my concealer. I'm going to use the same brush that I use. And then I also have this, like, mini version, but it really needs a wash. Um, my main goals for 2020 is to graduate with a first. And um, I really, really, really am aiming for a first. But to graduate with a good grade. Um, to buy some property um travel definitely because we only went on one holiday last year which we were so grateful for but it'd just be nice to be able to like go on a few more holidays this year and actually fulfill all the holidays that got cancelled from 2020 that would be a real treat if we got to do that i'm just going to use this end of the urban decay eyeshadow brush to blend out the concealer on my nose um yeah, I'd like to fulfil the holidays that we booked um, for last year and be, just keep up with the gym because I'm doing so well. I'm so proud of myself. Like since December, I've been in a really, really good place with fitness and I just want to keep it up, like keep going to the gym um, like five times a week um eat really good i'm eating so good at the minute i'm really proud of myself for that to stay really consistent with youtube and just like grow the channel i've been doing this now for like i want to say like 18 months and i'm really proud of where i am but like it's not where i want to be like i want this to eventually become like a like a good source of income for myself and like just like build a really successful channel with like loads of you guys because makes me so happy like being able to talk to you guys and like when you guys will message me about the randomest things um it's just so it's so nice like maybe that is another reason why i do find it so easy to be positive because i'm like really proud of everything that i've built for myself and whatever so far in life this by the way is a vimto protein shake from my protein it's a clear way i sell it so yeah, you grow YouTube, graduate, property, travel and gym. That's a good five. And also I'm really trying to be like, um, this is burning off the question a little, but I'm really trying to just like make a really good daily routine. So like this week I've been so good at like just getting up, going to the gym, having a shower, getting ready for the day. Um, and then like making myself like a really nice like brunch making myself like nice food making a really healthy dinner for me and ollie of an evening and then i'm also like getting into bed at a reasonable time putting my phone down and i'm reading i'm like journaling and manifesting i'm doing the 555 method at the minute also been doing some like meditation at night just like really i don't know like trying to be like that girl like that like live that real not aesthetic life but live like just like really routinely and i don't know just try and make the most out of every day so i've just brushed my eyebrows off and i actually had them hd'd on friday so they don't really need filling in so what i'm gonna do is take the other end of my urban decay brush with a little bit of nars concealer on and just like go underneath the bottom to sort of give them a bit more shape and then i'll just fill in the very sparse areas one of you guys also asked what trips i have planned so nothing is set in stone with trips or holidays but there's definitely some that are like 
you know i'm gonna plan so we were meant to go to santorini last year for ollie's 21st but it got cancelled like last minute and i think we actually could have gone in the end i can't remember but it got cancelled anyway i'm just gonna take the other end of that brush so we need to rebook that i'm thinking like to go so that was to santorini and um, i'm thinking to book that for when i finish uni as a bit of like a even though it's for Ollie's birthday, you can't go to Santorini in April anyway. It was in, I think we booked it to go in like June. So I'm thinking do it at the same time as we'd booked for last year, but go to sort of like celebrate me finishing uni and obviously Ollie's birthday, but Ollie's birthday's been and gone. Like it's not going to be a birthday celebration. I'd also love to do a, oh, Mia's FaceTiming me. Hello. Hey, Angel. I just thought I could keep you walking home. So to just fill in the little bits of brow, oh my god, oh there we go. I use the Makeup Obsession Um Doesn't it? oh dark brown so fine brow pencil, it's really good. Um literally a tiny tip. Um yeah, I'd i I'd love to go on a city break ASAP, but I just need to have a look at where we can go. Um so we will definitely go away somewhere and also on a nice summer holiday and then for a bit of eyeshadow i'm gonna take my bronzer and a big fluffy brush this is collection bronze glow matte so it's just like a big bronze bronzy pan and i'm just gonna take a little bit on my big fluffy brush and then just just not into crazy eyeshadow looks i'd love to be able to do like a smoky eye but for now it's just a little bit of bronzer and maybe a bit of glitter on the um lid so another question you guys wanted to know was where is my favorite place to shop right now and honestly i haven't been doing like too much shopping because like i said i'm trying to save but i know that's really hard to not shop when you have a youtube channel um, and you do fashion videos but if i had to say um it would probably be zara honestly like i've been buying the most stuff from zara right now but i don't know if it's i haven't seen loads of stuff but like i've just been buying stuff that i've wanted from there um plt have got some really good stuff in but like i said i'm trying not to buy like unnecessary bits so it's hard to balance between getting hauls up for you guys and not wasting money and like buying unnecessary clothes and stuff so i don't know that's something that i'm trying to work upon this is from zara it's just a little and um, like chocolate co um i love and then for bronze i'm taking the same collection bronzer on this on this like contoury shaped brush and I'm just gonna start underneath my chin and my jaw so in terms of life update and what has been going on with me like I said I'm in a really good place with the gym right now and like eating I'm not like on like mad calories but I'm seeing progress which is obviously the main thing and that gives you so much motivation to keep going um which is really good i feel like once you've been really dedicated for like even just like three weeks you really start to see progress which is unreal <laughs> I've been really good with the gym and eating and just like I've been feeling really good um I was speaking to my boyfriend yesterday about um just like feeling really good like I feel kind of like myself which I feel like if you've lost someone really close or whatever you'll probably understand that you just feel like a complete different human for so long but I am starting to feel like sort of myself which is good but then it makes you feel a bit guilty because you shouldn't be feeling that way it's so hard um so hard i don't know it's such a journey but yeah i'm feeling 
better about things me and ollie have got some really exciting things happening right now um i can't wait to reveal that to you but like i've said in like a few videos getting into property is something that i've really wanted to do for like a year now like the last like 12 18 months i have really been looking into property and like how it's such a good way to invest your money into and whatever so yeah we are in the process of doing something but obviously until things are confirmed there's just no point showing it from the rooftops um i start uni back on monday which is super exciting it's like my last like big module before i graduate so i'm really excited for that and like just to sort of get started <laughs> By the way, just done all that without even telling you. I've just mixed these three blushes from the this Soeva blush palette. Um, I really like the orange one, but you just have to be careful with how much you apply. Just before I do mascara, I'm gonna take this setting spray. This is just a Isla Revolution Dewy Makeup Fixing Spray. I'm gonna spray it all over and then i'm going to take this clean beauty um blender and just put everything together oh my god my hair um so yeah i'm really looking forward to finishing uni it's so sad because i do really enjoy it like and i will be sad when it's no longer there like i'm not going to be a student anymore but i am just really excited to have it finished and like i'm really proud of myself for getting through it I was so close not to going back in second year but I'm just really glad that I went back and I just can't wait to graduate and have that little picture with my hat on in summer and just be like yeah like I absolutely smashed it I'm so proud so yeah one more module well two more modules one big fat module left so for highlight I'm gonna take MAC soft and gentle and I'm gonna take this little brush I prefer to do it once I've highlighted because I feel like it pops a bit more on my face. And I'm just going to put it on my cupid's bow. And um, what else is going on? I've made my room look really good, which when I moved out of my dad's, I just moved everything into my boyfriend's. Um, and I literally just left this room at my mum's like a complete dump. If you are new here um, and you you don't know um, what I'm talking about sometimes, my dad passed away in August 2020. So I'd literally been doing YouTube like a matter of months. Um, and last April, me and my brother decided that it, although we loved living in the house, we lived in there for like eight months or something. Um, well although we loved living in it and like it was nice to have it it was making things a lot harder we decided that we would rent that house out and um, so we went that house out currently we've got a lovely family living in there they love it um which is obviously the most important thing like i would hate to have a problem um tenant yeah so we went that house out um which is super i feel like it was a very mature decision i'm very glad that we did that and yeah just in case you do you're wondering like when i'm talking about grief or whatever people have passed when i mention my dad that is the sad story to do mascara i'm gonna use last Sen lash lash sensational by maybelline it's one of my favorites um i am actually raising money for bowel cancer uk currently and um, if you don't follow me on instagram then please do but i do this is the second time I've done it now I did it last year when I moved out and this year I've done it just for like a bit of a spring clean but it's basically where I sell my clothes for really affordable prices like I'm saying like one I think the most expensive thing on there is four pound most things are like one or two pound and um, some things are brand new it's all like Zara, Misguided, PLT um, loads of like tops and dresses and jumpers and like going out bits that 
I just don't wear um, or have worn and I know that I won't wear again and some stuff hasn't even been worn like it's got tags on it it's just sat in my wardrobe so I basically sell it all over there and all the money I don't take any I don't take a penny all the money goes to Bowel Cancer UK um, so if you do want to support that then message me the page is called the Jodie Shop so yeah it's so nice like to see you girls just supporting the page and obviously to raise money for bowel cancer is what it's all about such a horrible horrible um disease and obviously it's very close to my heart so anything that i can do to prevent this happening to anybody else's family i will do so now i've done my mascara let's cheer this video up a little bit the sun is shining the sun is coming out which is so nice um now i've put that mascara on what i do with my little trick is i just take a little brush like this and i take the end of it and i just like lift my lashes up and give them a bit of like a curl and for lips i'm going to take mac i think this is stripped down but i've had it for so many years that it's completely wiped off but it looks like stripped down I'm just going to lie in, I'm going to overline my cupid's bow and I'm going to take honey, no I'm going to take peach stock today which is just this gorgeous like literally peach lipstick by MAC, it's my favourite and put that on I actually can't remember the last time I put makeup on so this feels so nice and that is literally everything I do to my face. It's literally super glowy. Very like peachy, bronzy, lovely day to day makeup. I'm just going to put a few curls through my hair I think. I don't know if they'll hold because I've only just washed it. but So I'm going to go ahead and put a few curls through my hair. I will time lapse you guys. <laughs> here is the finished curls that actually look really good i'm really proud considering i only pinned them for like 15 minutes and i am now ready thank you guys for getting ready with me i hope you all really enjoyed this video i will of course link all products that i showed you and used in this video in the description box below if you did enjoy this video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe and join my little youtube community i'm off to film some really exciting videos now so have a lovely rest of your day guys and i'll see you in the next video bye